What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna talk about Marvel Mega Blocks. I'm the type of collector who buys stuff and then places them on the shelf. I don't really let them stay on the shelf forever. Oftentimes I I go through my collection and I look for stuff to just put back on the work table and take pictures and stuff. Uh, I really like to enjoy what I have and not just leave them on the shelf. Lately I've been taking pictures of my Marvel Mega Blocks because if you didn't know, I also collected the Marvel Mega Blocks series. It was a short lived series. It had only three waves and it was series one, two and three. Series one only had six figures and there were two chase figures uh, that were actually cancelled from the wave. To me the main six were the only six that I needed to complete the series. And series two and three were composed of eight figures each. If you didn't know what Marvel Mega Blocks are, they're a lot like Lego minifigures, and they came in small um, mini packets. They weren't pricey at all. They were really affordable, and I really liked that fact. So uh, I tried buying one, and I got hooked. So uh, I tried to complete the whole line. And, you know, if you missed out on that line, you missed out on a really good line. They were mini figures, but they had a lot of articulation, a lot of detail, really good sculpting on them, and really good paint jobs for figures that were this small. Now, I just want to show you some pictures of my Marvel Mega Box collection. Here's my collection in full. And a picture of the good guys. And a picture of the bad guys. Now if you notice, I did not include the variants of the Iron Man figure and the Spider-Man figure. Because I was trying to make a more uh, realistic look in the picture. I don't think you can have two Iron Man figures in the same picture and make sense. So um, I'm talking about... Uh, the Mark V. This wasn't in the picture, and that's because I, I chose to go with Mark VI. And uh, I just want to show you just how incredibly detailed and incredibly sculpted and painted these minifigures are. I mean, look at how small these guys are. Just, just a bit bigger than my thumb. And just look at that. These guys cost. 200 pesos here and that's about five dollars uh five us dollars and uh, i'm not sure about that price but you know 200 pesos five us dollars these are really good figures i mean uh, if you compare them to uh, lego minifigures lego minifigures are what actually replaced them because uh mega blocks lost the rights to the Marvel characters when Lego purchased the rights from them. So right now that's why we have the Lego minifigures and I'm just not a big fan of the Marvel Lego minifigures because one you'd have to buy sets to get the figures and they're not like the Marvel Mega Bloks figures where we could buy them in packs and it'll be a single pack figure and it wouldn't cost you as much and I I did play with with those Lego blocks when I was small and my parents would tell me that those were actually my favorite toys when I was small but right now I just am not as interested as I was when I was a little kid so uh, I'm, I'm really after the figures and um, I would love to buy the Lego mini figures by themselves in a, in a good price but of course nowadays there is no other way to buy those branded lego minifigures except through the secondary market like ebay or or similar sites they were not like these figures uh that were readily available and sold for a very good price so this is the variant for the spider-man figure it's black spidey and another variant because uh, there are actually three Spider-Man figures released.
per mega blocks. Uh, this is actually big time Spidey, and is actually the basis for the Tron themed Spider-Man cover that Marvel released a while back. These figures aren't actually the first Marvel mini figures made by Mega Bloks. Mega Bloks was actually making these mini figures of Marvel along with their sets for about a few years already, but. Uh, it was only a short time before they lost the rights to Marvel that they made this single figure blind pack and it's really sad that it only lasted for three waves and I believe that this line could have done a lot more. I really prefer the Marvel Mega Bloks figures over the Lego minifigures and people compare the Marvel Mega Bloks figures to Diamond Select's Minimates and to me, you just can't compare the two because uh, Minimates are actually in a bigger scale. It would be like comparing Marvel Universe to Marvel Legends. Marvel Minimates would win hands down. So uh, I basically compare Marvel Mega Bucks to the Marvel Lego minifigures. And I just really miss Marvel Mega Bucks and the thrill of the hunt for these figures. I remember going to almost every mall that I could go to, every store that I could go to, just to look for the last figures. And this is one of the very few collections that I have that I found every single figure. And I'm really proud to be able to say that I have every figure in this really nice short-lived series. And for those of you who missed out on these figures, I really recommend you going out and looking for these figures. Uh, you'll definitely enjoy these figures. They're just really nice things to collect from Marvel fans. So that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think and tell me what do you prefer. Do you prefer the Lego minifigures over the Mega Bloks figures? I would love to hear what you think. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.